Yo, what's going on? It's OBZ from OBZBeats.com. You know what it is. So today we are doing the artist interview with the one and only freestyle motherfucking fiend over in Canada, the Big Dubs. What's going on, brother? What up, what up brother? How's everything? It's all good, man. It's all good. Thank you. For, uh, thank you so much for jumping on. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a it's an honor to have you, man. Real shit. Thank you. Thank you. No fucking problem, bro. I love your movement. I love your beats. It's the same with you, man. You're a fucking absolute fucking fiend with the freestyle, bro. I don't even know how you do it, to be honest. It's, it's just insane. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't even I get it. I do that. <laughs> it's one of them. <laughs> it is one of them. So let's jump straight into it. So what age did you merge into music or like the music industry? Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck what, grade eight? So like 12, 13, 14 maybe. That's when I started, that's when I started just fiddling around, writing remixes and dicking around. I wasn't recording or anything, but like for a few years I was just writing stupid stuff. And then uh, I finally got like a gaming headset mic when I was in like grade nine, ten-ish. Okay. And I just, and I started recording just fucking audio clips and putting them on top of fucking beats that I had. And it was, it was so rough. I didn't know what I was doing. I was, you know, that, that was my first step into the oh, we go slippery okay. slope <laughs> no i get you i get you i get you completely it's one of them though isn't it it's like we've all got to start somewhere like shit i started making beats on a mobile phone on a htc mobile phone you know what i'm saying so we all got to start somewhere bro real talk for sure man think about taco that's how he started right he started with the fucking garage band on his phone and then yep Actually, you know, we had a we had an MPD back in the day, but we started with just GarageBand keyboard, fucking making beats. And then he got it on his phone, and now now we just use everything: keyboards, MPD, machines. Fucking, it's a beautiful thing. That's Evolution. it, man. Nah, it is, man. Crazy to crazy to see where you start and uh, what you got, eh? Uh, no, of course, yeah. I think people people overlook that kind of stuff sometimes, but um. You know, it is what it is. got to kind of, you got to kind of backtrack a little bit just to see where you started, you know what I'm saying? Real talk. So where were you when you decided to become an artist slash rapper? Like, where was your actual physical location? Can you remember? Yeah, I was, uh, I was at school, actually. Me and my buddy had just copped the new ICP Hell's Pit album. <laughs> Fucking right. Dude. Yeah, we were, uh, we were like, we were listening, like, we were into, like, Slipknot and shit back in the day, right? Like, heavy metal, fucking, all that. And then uh, we came across this ICP album. I actually found them on Backyard Wrestling, and I was like, yo, these guys are dope. They got this crazy music that's, like, hardcore rap. So we listened yeah. to the Hell's Pit album. We're like, this is fucking fire. I bet you we could, we could do something like this. And then we just started, uh, we started writing after that. We called ourselves the Boys of Noise, me and my boy Mikey Thompson back in grade eight. That's when we decided, we were like, yo, this is this is fun. We should do this. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. All the way back in school. See, a lot of people are like, a lot of people that I've spoken to and I've done interviews with, they're like, they're kind of in like young, like, I don't know, like young adolescents, not really, nah. Like young adulthood, you know what I'm saying? Like in their 20s, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. <clears throat> but you, you were like from the get go, like way back. Now nah, respect, man, respect. So I suppose this kind of music enrolls. Been... Go on, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, music's always been like a fucking huge thing for me. Back in the day, I got pictures of myself playing a fake guitar on the back of my couch when I was like four <laughs> years old, like and going ham, you know. Yeah, no, that's straight. That's straight. That sounds like a fun time, oh, especially no, for no. a four year old. <laughs> My mom tells me I always like sang in the car and just fuck it. I was just loving music, you know. <coughs> That's it, man. It's a universal language, you know what I mean? Everybody everybody can speak music. Real talk. Yeah, yeah. That's real. So who was your most like uh listened to artist when you were growing up? At, like a proper youngster, do you know what I'm saying? Like Um, it was funny because like I got into ICP and then I started listening to Eminem and I was like, these two guys are crazy and then I was like, they hate each other. That's so funny. Yeah, it is mad, right? It is crazy. I got into both of them at the same time because like Eminem was wild lyrical and ICP was just hardcore wild. And I was like, I like both of this shit. Got into that, but then like the fusion of them is like Tech Nine, you know. So yeah. I found tech, I found Tech. Well, listen to that. But my most overplayed artist is King Gordy. Okay. He's from Detroit. 
He's friends with Bizarre from D12. Yeah. Uh, they have a group called Lars, um, or they used to be called the Branch Davidians. Now they're called Lars. They're on Twisted's uh, label, uh, Magic Ninjas. But uh, yeah, fucking King Gordy's the underground Detroit artist, man. He's uh, underrated, but he's fucking wild. He says some of the most craziest shit. Between him and Vinny Paz, they taught me that you can say anything on a fucking record, man. <laughs> this is fuck. This is big facts right here. Real talk. Look at your pooch, man. You got a nice pooch there, bro. Yeah, that's my boy, Godimus. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? So, what are you most passionate about in regards to, like, just music in general, do you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, fuck, man. I just love getting in the booth. I love sitting there and creating music. Half the time, man, I just spit because, like, it's just fun and I like, I like being witty. But half the time, I just love the chords, the music. You give me a good guitar breakdown or a saxophone riff, and I'm just fucking like, shut up, just let it go, let it go. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, where it yeah. hits me. That's where the soul starts coming from, and that's where I just get all these ideas. I'll be sitting in the studio with Taco. I'll be like, yo, what if we did this? What if we added this? And then what? What? What if we? I just, I get so passionate with the fucking music. Like, I listen to classical music a lot, and just, just for yeah. like riffs and just shit that catches my ear. You know, I just, I like, uh, I like that shit. I also. Like that that's what I'm most passionate about is all the sounds. How it like just all works together. The unity and fucking music is just it just transcends, bro. It's magic. It's in the air. You can hear it. You can't feel it. You can't feel it. It's fucking that's that's what it is. No, I get you, man, for real. I get you. It's all vibration, John, at the end of the day. Like definitely that's why it resonates with some people like eight oh eight, some bass lines with me. They resonate with me so hard, you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. feel it. I just feel it. It'd be the same with yourself with the melodies and different things like this. So and I know exactly where you're coming from with that one, real talk. So why do you do the music that you do though, brother? Uh it's just it's just how I feel. Uh I like being witty. I love bars. I like I was a battle rapper for a bit. I was just at a battle rap event yesterday, co-hosting at uh, a league in Toronto, Beast Mode. Yeah. They fucking on the rise. They great. Um, but I just love the bars. I love the intensity. The what you can do with words to depict, yeah. and like, you can you can spit something that has somebody close their eyes and they're picturing a scene in front of them, and like you know you could vividly reach somebody. The power of words is crazy, and then mix that with the power of music, and you're it's is the best of every world, you know. No, I understand. And that's completely. another thing. You can't you can't smell, touch, fucking taste words or like sounds, right? So yeah, it's just yeah, it's it's yeah. magic, man. No, nah, you're not wrong. But you're not wrong. Listen, all, that's that's why I love it. I love being versatile. Uh, lately, I've just been getting more harmonious, doing hooks and trying to vibe with the rhythms and trying to embed a deep message. Like the album, I just. I'm, just finishing up now drifting we got one more track to record yeah um we fucking i was trying to preach some conscious shit before i went into some all right all right all right, all right. i'll leave you alone for a minute let's listen to some good music you know yeah 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 I was going in, I was going in. That, not to get you wrong it's good music but it's conscious shit it's gonna make you think the whole album you know what i mean that's good though. There's not a lot of that around these days you know what i'm saying i know there's a couple of cats in canada who you, who you guys roll with you know what i'm saying and do some really, really seriously good music, but a lot of music nowadays, you know, this modern music and this trap mumble rap shit, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing to it. There's nothing to it at all. It's just nonsense. No substance, man. I don't feel I don't feel nothing. I don't feel nothing when I hear Exactly. No, exactly, exactly, exactly. I feel I myself exactly when you mean. the volume knob and turn it down. Yeah. The only thing that's good about that music sometimes is the beats. Do you know what I'm saying? Like that's literally that's yeah. literally it. It's good if you, it's good if you want to go to a club and have background music. Yeah, yeah, it's just vibing, isn't it? It's just vibing more than anything. Yeah. The content that these rappers are spending today is just nonsense, absolute nonsense. Yeah. So, what kind That's of rituals crap. and routines do you have before you before you start writing or you head to the studio? Like, do you rip a bong? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you, I don't know. Do you go take the dog for a walk? What do you? I had a I had a dab. I had a dab before I do anything. I uh okay. I'll sit there mellow. I definitely I like to make a tea, you know, I like to make a tea before I go into the booth or like at least do that. Um I always like to eat, but I don't like to go into the booth hungry. I like to eat yeah, yeah, yeah. be full and comfortable. You know, that's uh that's one thing. That's that's three things I like to do before I go there. Definitely gotta have a bottle of water always. But those are my rituals, you know, fat dab before anything. 
I'll hit a dab before like almost every verse that we record. So, you know, song may have 20 dabs in on it, you know, who knows? <laughs> That's it. Um, no, that's not real. Dabs, are you talking so. about sativa, or are you talking like you're talking sativa? Because I'm sure you're a sativa guy. Because you you stay out. I usually yeah, I usually mess with the sativas, fucking. Uh, but I'll do a hybrid. I don't care if you got an indica and we just dab it. I don't care. That'll put a whole different vibe on the beat. You know, if we're no doing reason. something mellow. If we're doing something mellow. I'm gonna smoke some indica the whole time or writing. Yeah, no, I get you. I get you. I used to do a little bit of rapping back in the day. I did it for like seven years, you know what I'm saying? I always used to smoke a fat blown or rip a bong, you know what I'm saying, before I used to write a freestyle away, you know what I'm saying? Like it just helps the mind and wind. It just helps easy like easy like ease the process, you know what I'm saying? Like makes it just so much more enjoyable. No, I feel you definitely, definitely, definitely. So like, did anybody like so when you were young and you were doing uh like the rapping and the freestyling and things like that in school? Like, did anyone help you? Like, were you, were you taught by anybody? Did anybody teach you how to use, like, syllables, different things like this? No. Were you all nobody, nobody, nobody taught me. Me and my friends were all self-taught. We did this thing where we would go on to rhymezone.com, right? And you would just type okay. in a word that rhymed. You would type in a word, and it would list all the rhymes and then all the different syllables that were in the rhymes. So yeah, what we dope. would do is just, we would just ad-lib it, right? So it would be, like, wine, and then you'd be, like, dine, fine, and then, but you'd have to fill in the sentence and end it with that, right? So that's yeah. how we kind of figured it out. And, and the best part is it was linked to the dictionary definition. So if you didn't know what the word was, you could click on it, figure out what the definition was, and then you'd find a cool word in the definition, and click on that, and go see what that was, and rhyme yeah, that smart. word. And that, that's smart. I never that's, how we, got, that's how we got that. thinking about, like, crazy words and just fucking okay, – that's how I expanded my vocabulary, literally just freestyling off of different words that I didn't know and trying to figure out how that happened. And then I just found found beats. I, I figured out cadence pretty pretty easy. Like I understood it from listening to different rappers and like, yeah. oh, okay, that's that's. I knew how to count a beat and I knew how to count a bar right off the hop. I don't know why. I just just like, oh, okay, I understand that perfectly fine. Yeah. I just trying to trying to tell people what that means. My whole life has just been a struggle. Holy fuck! Like this is a <laughs> bar. What's a bar? A bar is a half a rhyme. Yeah, like this, yeah. half a half a bar. Fuck, like. <laughs> Do you know what? It's funny how a lot of people can't catch the can't catch the beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one of them because you, yeah. you can hear you can time it with the snare. You know what I'm saying? Bro, like, I, can listen, I can listen to any beat and tell you when the drop kick, whatever the fuck is gonna come in, yeah. where it should have been, when it ties around. All right, this is gonna happen. Sometimes I like it's fuck. I like predict shit in music I haven't heard. It's not hard. It's music. It's all conceptual. Exactly, exactly. The thing is, as well, you've got to have a good ear for the music. You know what I'm saying? To do that, that kind of stuff. Because I know what I know. A couple of people who who are just not on point. The bars are great. The bars are actually wicked, but the the timing is off. And you know, you keep saying to these people, oh, I keep saying to these people, you know, you you're off, you're off beat, you're off time. You know what I'm saying? They're like, I'm not though. And it's like, well, listen to it. How can you not hear that you're not off beat? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand these people, man. It doesn't make any sense to me. But fuck it, each to their own. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, I'll learn one day. Yeah. Some people feel that way about that. Some people feel other ways about it. Whatever. Yeah. It's all conception. It's all fucking how you perceive it, man. Music isn't for everybody. My music ain't for anybody. I'll tell you that much. You know? I don't know. I vibe your music heavy, bro. Especially when you're doing the weekly words and the Freestyle Friday, man. You blow me away every single time. I don't know how the fuck you do that shit. I tell you, man, it's it's next level. <laughs> it's just next level. Practice, practice, practice. That's what it is, you know? Now nah, respect, respect. So, look, are there any resources that you've used to help you in uh, to advance in your career in music? You know what I'm saying? Well, like earlier on, no. I have, I, me myself, I have not a marketing promotional bone in my fucking body. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how to fucking approach, promote, or fucking do any of that stuff. Yep. So lately, as of like the past years, you know, fucking due to all this beautiful online social media shit, they do offer awesome fucking ads and shit. So I've been spending like 10, 20, 50 bucks here. Depends on what it is. Yep. Been starting to use the, uh, the live streaming, as you know, fucking to reach out to more audience. But like, that's only in the last year. Before that, I was just one of those guys releasing shit to fucking YouTube, just not hyping it, not doing any back work, not doing nothing i was just like here's music here's music here's music yeah. and only sharing to a small bubble right so <clears throat> no i get you now now i took a few years off i looked at it 
hip hop got trash, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get back. It's gotta be done, man. It's gotta be done. I don't know what happens to the culture. It's gone right down the toilet right now. Do you know what I'm saying? Anybody can jump in the game if you got some money and you can just put some trash out there. But there are some good people that have been well, emerging. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Over the last couple of years, we'll talk. All these guys got money, but no talent. I'm over here with all talent, no money, you know? Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. No, I get it. I get it completely. I get it completely. So what would you say is your best musical quality? I know what I would say personally is your freestyle game. It's fucking, I'm going to say it again. It's just fucking insane, man. It's just fiendish. Mad. Yeah, fucking, half the freestyles I spit, if they're recorded, I'd... <laughs> People would be blown away. I'm blown away. Sometimes I got to stop. I'm just like, how the fuck did I just think of that? Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's weird because I'd say that's the best the best aspect, but like, fuck, man. I just say it's got to be on point all the time. I'm just not that sharp. I know some fucking cats who are fucking crazy freestylers, you know, like, yeah. but it's, it's not. That's all they do. And sometimes it's all they're doing. Like if they got the time to make music and they're touring, like yo, it's it's easy to own in that skill. When I gotta work fucking nine to five, you know, it's just like I can't just be yeah. sitting there rapping all day, fucking freestyling and watching movies and you know, because like think about it, a lot of freestyles and shit is just like you're consuming media and shit. So like the more movies you watch, the more fucking T V shows, the more fucking uh news you watch to see what the current events are, is yeah. it's just more art, right? Yep. When I was in the battle before I dropped off, man, I was Mr. Current Events. I'd be fucking dropping, like, right now I'd be dropping Jeff Epstein Area 51 bars, right? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get you. I get you completely. I get you completely. Okay, okay. And what do you wish that you knew now when you started? Is that the whole marketing thing again or, like? Yeah, oh, for sure, for sure, man. If it was back in the day and I knew that, like, this is all I had to do in the beginning. I would have not, I would have not like moved out. I wouldn't have tried to fucking, you know, branch off and do my own thing. I would have been like, okay, market this. Yeah. This is what you need to market. If I would have known the value of YouTube when I was using YouTube back in yeah. the day, you know what I mean? Fuck him. It would have been a different ball game. Definitely. I know it's just, it's the same mm -hmm. here. It's the same mm -hmm. here. Well, we were we were opening up for Mayday, Estranged Music, Mad Child, Swollen Members and shit, JD Era, Mercules, right before he popped off. Like, we were doing big stuff, and then we just stopped. Like, it was yeah. just, it was, yeah. Now we're back, you know, we're doing fucking, we're doing good stuff. Opened up for Dirtbag Dan this year. That was fire. Doing a lot of fucking, did a lot more shows this year than we have previous years. And, and we're using the live stream to our best advantage too, you know, fucking every show we do, we live stream the event. So if you're not there, at least you can see it and you can see what we're about. We always bring a live fucking energy to the stage, no matter if it's me and Dro, no matter if it's me, Sagato and Taco, if yeah. Sab's coming up to fucking host and say some jokes, you know, is we always bring a fucking energy and we always bring us no matter what we're there to work. That's why we have matching fucking shirts. We try to go in there like this is a fucking, this is what we're doing. Yeah, no, I see you. I see you definitely. You definitely, the Green Tree has definitely got, the members of Green Tree anyway, have definitely got some serious energy about them. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I see every time you do a live stream, you're doing a, you're doing a show or something like that. It's always crazy energy. It's just, it's just fucking, it's nuts, man. Absolutely nuts. I can't wait to come over one day to Canada and actually be there. Do you know what I'm saying? I fucking witness the greatness of the fucking. If you guys, you know what I'm saying, doing what you're doing, like real talk. For sure, my dude. Fuck, man, we may even come over there. Who knows? <laughs> now that would be fucking lit. Real talk. Now that would be something real cool. Okay, so how do you feel about your music and like how people engage with your music? <clears throat> uh, it's been pretty fucking positive. Anybody who really engages with it, I don't hear any negative feedback, really. You know, fucking okay. so that's. It's all right, I guess. I need some criticism, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah. You need to grow. But, yeah, you know, fucking... Uh, with the engagement, it's good. I just wish there was a larger engagement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course. It's all about to marketing and branding and different things like this. It's all one big fucking yeah, vicious fucking cycle, bro. <laughs> <God damn. laughs> 
It's all the fucking, it's all a big vicious cycle of fucking marketing and branding and all that good stuff. It just takes time, do you know what I'm saying? But I know that there's a, I know you've got one guy over there who's pretty good with that kind of stuff, do you know what I'm saying? So I'm sure he's uh, he's helping here, there, and you know what I'm saying, in free time. Yeah, time. Sure. And there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that I'm trying yeah. to get to tie all together, you know? Yeah, no, of course. No, of course, definitely. It has to be done, though. That's what people don't people don't understand. People see the end result. Do you know what I'm saying? They don't see the process. You know, I don't see a lot of people behind the scenes. You know, a lot of people got a good team hyping them out there, fucking promoting, pushing shit all the fucking time. You know. Yeah. No. Real talk. Real talk. That team effort. You know, I see a lot of teams out there trying to move, trying to do fucking great stuff. So I'm hoping more fucking people pick up on the concept and stop trying to fucking go at each other it sucks man like even fucking bigger names like i don't understand why there's any fucking beef in the fucking rap game of dumb shit people just got to work together unity in the community hip-hop's all about unity man the four elements they all got to come together to break hip-hop break dancing dj and graffiti art and fucking mc you know yeah you don't need that the break beats you need visuals you need fucking like it's like the new graffiti right now is concept art, album art, and fucking, yeah. you know, single art. Like that's that's shit you got to keep alive, man. And that's all part of the hip hop. You want something catchy, catch your eye. You know, think about album art cover and shit. You know, that's why I need more unity. That's what I say. No, I definitely agree with you. I definitely agree with you on that one. Do you know what I'm saying? What do they say? It's uh, teamwork makes the dream work. Do you know what I'm saying? Things like that. Mm-hmm. It's real talk. Like, fucking, I don't see a lot of people that do things by themselves. You don't see big businesses and stuff, just one man, you know what I'm saying, running a whole fucking operation by himself. The fucking no, industry. exactly, man. All of that shit. You know, it don't work like you need a You need a team, you know what I'm saying? It, it, and people need to grasp this concept, like real talk, like you're saying. Man, yeah. Your, your team doesn't stop at the building, you know? It goes out to the people on the streets that are talking about your building and how they use your building, you know? Okay. Yeah. No, I get you. I get you definitely, hundred percent. I hope someone fucking takes some some of this advice and really applies it. Do you know what I'm saying? You just got to utilize what you've got, especially even if you just got friends. Do you know what I'm saying? Who are good with like graphics or things like this? Who aren't necessarily in the music industry or the scene? Do you know what I'm saying? Like you just pull together who you can. Do you know what I'm saying? If you, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then you go looking for more. That's it. Like it has to be done. It has to be done. But um, <clears throat> so you were saying, uh, you have project that's going to be coming out real soon so how do you feel about it like how do you feel Um, going like i'm super stoked i got most of the features that i wanted on it um fucking how it how it kicks off is just i like it i like all of it you know fucking there were some concepts i wanted to get out i got them out i got my features i wanted i'm happy with it it's just Right at the end of writing this album, I was happy, and then I heard a whole bunch of new music, and I'm like, "We gotta <laughs> make some more music. We gotta yeah. make some more music." But yeah, no, I get you. I get you. Yeah, we got some conceptuals coming out. We're working. We're working on a secret, secret project for the Taco. You know, he's okay. been working. Been working on his album, Beautiful and Unusual. Okay. That's uh, we've been putting a lot of work into there. Almost all produced by him. If not, it's a lot of producers that he really enjoys working with that are yeah. on the production quality too. Um, as well as I got a little side project coming out. We got a video dropping soon. Um, it's called. Uh, we haven't got it. We haven't got a name yet, but it's some sort of experimental group that I'm working with. It's me and my buddy chris he does most of the instrumentals but you know we're gonna we're gonna plug that shit in we got uh we got some fun stuff coming the video's coming soon which is a crazy mashup that i came up with uh the wicked 45 you've probably seen it on the live streams yeah you watch yeah, our yeah. live shows yeah it's uh so we finally got that coming out um and on top Great. of that we're working on a few other projects a little bubble we staying got our busy, man staying busy got. now that's active not a lot of people are doing as much as what you guys are doing my, idea, like. my idea board i have like a few white boards in front of me right now i had to go cop a bigger one oh, <laughs> i had to go shit. cop a fucking office size whiteboard <laughs> get these ideas down you know 
That's it, man. If it's there, it's there. Do you know what I'm saying? That gives you goals to reach, do you know what I'm saying? And things to achieve, real talk. So, And it keeps you busy as well and keeps you productive and active in the community as well, as well as online with online presence. So, man, Trying you to keep as much online presence, presence as possible, man. Started a new video vlog series called Memories for Monday. We're going to try to drop every other Monday. Okay. Um, just some scenes, chilling in the studio, some shit we do at the live events, you know. Yep, yep. Uh, shit like that. Um, on top of that, we're going to try to go for the green tree mixes where we're going to drop some remixes from everybody in the crew, remix and whatever track. You know, Sagato's got a bunch. I got a couple lined up. Okay. Uh, Dro's already got one out. Um, you know, we fucking – we got a, we got a lot of stuff working in the background all yeah. the time, all the no time. Or what, what, what we're not thinking of ideas. Well, we're not thinking of ideas, we're just writing lyrics. And when we're not writing lyrics, we're just trying to promote stuff. You know, fuck, it's just. Yeah, no, of course, no, of course. That's it, man. That's it, definitely. Man, fucking active. That's what I like. I like to hear that, man. I know you're always active anyway. I know you've always got stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. So, nah, big always respect, man, for sharing what's going on in the background. Little, little bits and pieces here and there, little hints and peaks. You know what I'm saying? That's always appreciated. Always, always, always. So, why don't you share with these amazing people some of the social media where, where they can find you, do you know what I'm saying? You can find us at uh, Green Tree Records on Facebook, uh, GT Records 905 on Twitter and Instagram. You can catch us at Big Dubs 905 on YouTube. Hey. Um, I think that's about it, yeah. Hey, so good. I'm gonna put it in the outro as well. So when when this is finished, you know I'm saying people can go check that. You know what I'm saying pause it, check that, and everything else. So it's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be good. But look, Mr. Doves, Mr. Freestyle Fiend, Freestyle King. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. You know what I'm saying on the OBZ Beat Artist interview. Anytime. Mad, mad love, Anytime. man. Real shit. Much love to the people out there. Keep it up. Keep Indeed, watching, man. Indeed. <laughs> Listen as well, real quick. Listen to this guy and what he's saying in this interview. You know what I'm saying? There's some diamonds and some gems in this. You know what I'm saying? So you want to take some of that advice and you know implement it in what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? In your own career, real talk. But anyway, much love to everybody who's joined us. Thank you very much. Obz from obzbeats.com. King Doves, Green Tree Records. Peace. We'll see you in the next one. I said if I told you I did it, would you believe me? He said I don't know. I can't say, but I believe so. You don't never know what you can believe these days.